There's some people ask the question, how did Dr. Bullock, the father of environmental justice, get involved with the shallow community? Well, um, it was on June the 1st when I was headed to Op, Alabama um, to pick up some supplies for the restaurant. I heard a still voice uh, on the way back. The Lord began to speak to me and say, go by Dr. Bullock's brother's house. And here it is, it's almost 11.30 and the restaurant is getting ready to open and I got these supplies and, and I need to get them to the restaurant. And, and he says, go by, it, it is expedient that you go by Dr. Bullock's uh, brother house. And so on my way from up, here it is, I enter into Elba and I'm contemplating, should I go by or should I go to the restaurant? And here it is, I hear the Lord saying that it is expedient that you go by now. You know, you can't wait. You got to go now. And so I go by Dr. Bullock's brother house, Leon, and here it is. I pull up and I knock on the door and I didn't get an answer. And I kept knocking and kept knocking on the door. And, and sure enough, here comes Leon. And he's looking with this his expression on his face like, preacher, I know you're supposed to be at the restaurant around this time. And what's going on? You know, it's got to be something serious for you to be at the house. And and so uh he comes out on the porch and I said, you, do you have your brother's contact information? Can we, con can we contact him now? Because I got to get this video to him, man. And uh, the Lord told me to stop by here and do it because it's expedient. I don't know what's going to happen and everything. And so Leon pulls his phone out and everything. And he says, hold on, let's, let's call him right now. And so we call Dr. Bullard and we get no answer. We call him again and we get no answer. And I said, I tell you what. Let's send this video because I've got to get back to the restaurant. Let's send this video. I'm going to send this video to your phone and uh, I want you to send it and you give me Dr. Bullock's number and I'm going to send it from my phone to him also. And so and I'll try calling him on my way home and everything. And But we didn't get no answer, but we sent the video. And when I sent the video uh, to Dr. Bullard, uh, he got the video. And so... Here it is. I'm coming back and I get into the restaurant and start working and getting everything together and getting everything, you know, uh, ready to open up, uh, uh, open up shop before 12 o'clock. And so here it is, uh, me and my uh, my neighbor, uh, Willie Horstead, which is the uh, veteran. He comes over and everything and we sit up on the gazebo and we're just talking and and I'm sharing with him what I just did. And, you know, this, mind you. It was on June the 1st of 2023, and that is my, that is my birthday. It was on my birthday, you know what I'm saying? And so uh, we're sitting up on the gazebo, and, and around between 1 and 2 o'clock, here it is, we get a phone call. I get a phone call, and, and here it is, it's Dr. Bullard. And uh, his first words is, hey, this video is horrific. You know, and we begin to talk. And, and mind you, you know, uh, I had cousins that were telling me, hey, uh, you need to get in touch with Dr. Bullard. And, and I was like, man, I, you know, how am I going to get in touch with him? And, and they talked about how he was our family and how he was from Elba. And I said, how in the world can we get in touch with this man? This man is all over the world, you know, doing environmental stuff and climate stuff. He travels constantly on the go. And I'm like, how in the world is this going to happen? And mind you, when they told me uh, before I called, you know, uh, they were like, get in touch with Dr. Bullard. I got calls from cousins down in Miami, says, uh, give him a call, look him up and try to reach out to him because he's an environmentalist and, and everything. And I was like, man, you know what I'm saying? But I obey God. And I went by Leon's house and did what God told us to do and, and came back. And so we get the phone call and Dr. Bullard's talking about this is horrific. This is bad, man. This is bad. And, and so we go into talking about having a uh, Zoom call and can you, get the, can you get the community together? Less than 48 hours, the whole community was on a Zoom call at the church with Dr. Bullard. And he was telling us all type of things, what he can do. And he says, now, if, if I can't come back home and help my family, they need to take away the Father of Environmental Justice title from me. Because if I can't help my own people and come back to my own hometown and help my family, my title and my position means nothing. And so here it is. I remember getting with uh, 
getting with Willie Horstead, the veteran. And, and I went to Willie and I said, Willie, all I need you to do, man, I know you of age. I just need you to stand with me. If you could just stand with me, man, I believe we're going to get justice like now before. Just stand with me. And, and Willie said, yes. And we started getting in the news. We started going to the news channels and just constantly talking about what we were dealing with and, and everything. And, and it paid off. And, you know, and and um, that's the first thing Dr. Bullard asked. He said, do you have any news clips? Do you have anything where you went to the media? And so we were able to pull up all those those clips and videos from 2011 and everything. And I was able to record because the Lord told me, he says, uh, you're going to need this one day. Never knew what he was talking about, but I walked in obedience. I just obey God, you know, and um, and even with him telling me to go by um Dr. Bullard's brother's house. I just obey God. I just, I just operated in obedience. And, and, and one of the things was that I, I didn't have no uh, quit mentality. You know what I'm saying? Because deep down on the inside, I said, man, we're going to get justice. I can't quit. I can't give up. Even though people are telling us to stay quiet, we can't stay quiet. You know, it was just something down on the inside, you know, just kept turning. You can't quit. You can't give up. You can't overlook this situation. You got to keep pushing. And so, um, Dr. Bullock makes a promise and he says, I promise y'all, I'm going to help get y'all across the finish line. We're going to, we're going to win in this situation. He said, I promise you, I'm not going to just, I'm not just going to uh, be here one moment and then gone the next minute. He said, but I'm going to stay until this thing is done. And he promised and he began to make promises to us. And, and I'm here to tell you, um, almost a year now is, is getting ready to be June, uh, 2024 is almost a year. And Dr. Bullock and the Bullock Center, ha Center has been with us. They have been, I mean, they have been close with us in this fight, helping us fight to get justice. I mean, from one justice journey, uh, journey to justice tour to a next, uh, we, we've called people all over the world. People have came come from all over to come to Shiloh, you know what I'm saying? And Dr. Bullard has has been an instrumental in, you know, in, 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 in the work that he's doing for his hometown and working along with the community and myself. And man, it has been a blessing. You know, never would have thought that I would be walking and standing and traveling with the Father of Environmental Justice, uh, Dr. Bullard is known all over the world from his work and from his professional, you know, books that he's written, 18 books. And, you know, and, and one of the books depict his hometown, which is Shallow, you know, uh, uh, here it is, Highway Robbery, you know, uh, wrote it about 20 some years ago. And now here it is, the book depicts a rural area in his hometown that's dealing with highway robbery and racism. And, and, and here it is, never would have thought, but God works in mysterious ways and, you know, and, and so here it is, we're traveling, you know, uh, places and talking about shallow and what's going on and, uh, about the elevated highways and, you know, the four storm waters and, and, uh, the main gas line that's, uh, less than eight feet away from my house and everything and sinking homes and, uh, uh, septic tanks has been overtaken by, you know, the force storm waters that is forced over here onto us. And so it, it's, it's just amazing how God do things. And, 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 you know, and so it's just been a blessing. And that's how Dr. Bullard got here. You know, I called him and I began to show him videos and, and he didn't change any words. He said, I'm coming. And, and man, it has just been a blessing. I mean, they've, they've stuck with us and, 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 and coached us to, through what we are going through here and it has been a journey it has been a blessing and we're almost at the finish line you know um, different ones have came we've had the uh, highest office in the world uh, Secretary Pete Buttigieg have came and seen what we are going through and dealing with here in the shallow community I can I can remember hearing people say oh you can't do that and and you know and people were saying you know you're going up against the state how you gonna do that is it's, this is a God movement and people must understand this is a God movement this is God's doing See, whenever God tell you to do something, he's going to he's going to do it. He's going to bring you into into what you got to get into. He's going to give you what to do and how to do it. And that's what God has been doing. It's not about us, but it's about God being glorified. And, you know, and, and I say everywhere we go, this is a God movement. This is God's doing. And, you know, I couldn't have done this in my own strength. You know what I'm saying? It's God's doing. You know, when we walk in obedience and when we obey God, God will open up the avenue. And, and, and I call Dr. Bullard uh, our Moses, you know what I'm saying, that is leading the way. And, and, you know, and he has been there for this community. He has helped us, whatever we need. And he's still here working along 
uh, with the community and, and man, and, and here it is, uh, it's just been a blessing and, and, you know, with the help of Dr. Bullard, he has, he has, man, he has taken this thing to the next level, um, given us contacts that we've never had, you know, just can you imagine five and a half years, we've just been beating this thing, just beating it and trying, you know, going through different people, calling different people, trying to get help and, 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 and deaf ears has been, you know, turned on us and people don't want to hear it and they make false promises, but never fulfill them. But I can say about Dr. Bullard in the uh, TSU uh, center, they didn't make false promises. They stuck with us. They came to our aid and they began to help us, man. And, and you know, and, and I'll never forget, Dr. Bullard made a statement. He said, I can travel all over the world, but if I can't help my, my community and my city, something is wrong with this picture. And he's been here ever since. So it has been a blessing, you know, uh, walking and working along with Dr. Bullard in the TSU Center. And, and what I like about it is that, you know, they didn't come in here you know, taking over anything. They didn't try to force in here and say, hey, we're going to take the lead on this. But they allowed me to lead, you know what I'm saying, and allowed me to voice my opinions and, and you know, and work along. You know, Dr. Bullard has been doing this stuff for four decades. And, and, and you know, just his humility, you know, his humbleness, um, working along with them, he, he's humble. It's not he's forcing anything on us. But he'll ask you, he said, what do you think about this? He, t he tells people, no, I'm not forcing anything on the community. It's what the community says, and you know, and the community leader, and man, it has been a blessing. 